Yeah, we only want this, the uh, crossbow sergeant. That should be a pretty easy one. Rather than having to command them 50 times just to get them down the hill, I'm just going to have them follow me, and then we'll figure that out. Hopefully we get a shield from one of these dead guys. I should probably equip this guy with the shield, so at least he's not completely dead weight. You know, we can body block. Pretty light on enemy units. I don't know where they're all at, but usually there's a few people here. Oh, wow, they're shooting all the way down there. You're not going to hit anything from that distance. All right, here we go. Let's get him moved up a little bit. Shoot him, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, at least they, they do have maces, though, so like I said, that, that could be good. We can collect some prisoners. All right, there is a shield there. Yep, we got one shield bearer. Oh, let's straighten these guys out. All right, get that shield guy. Oh, come on. Oh, good thing he's aiming at us. <laughs> Again, not the brightest, but, you know, we'll take it. All right, let's keep moving. There should be only a handful left. Actually, there's literally one left. Let's just get to the bottom. Oh, and it's another shield boy. Oh, good shots. Very well done. And there's <laughs> these poor guys. There's only two left. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll stuff them up close. Maybe turn them around with the shield and open up their flanks. So we don't fight duels. All these boys. Yeah, get your shots. Oh, this guy's going to bust our shield. We need to run. Don't bust the shield. Don't bust my shield. Don't bust my shield. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, that was actually really close. He almost hit us in the back. And we had one person go down. Luckily, it was only an injury. And we got six prisoners. So really good prisoners there. And we picked up a mountain bandit boss. We might actually hang on to him and, and convert him into an actual troop. It is kind of fun collecting these guys. They're, they're not that great, to be honest. But they do look good in the army. Right, loot's not all that great. But we got 3k from doing that. So that's huge. Look at that. We're already at seven set. We got the lucky sevens. And this time, we will do the escort merchant caravan. Because that one should be pretty good. I think we might have to go to... Three, three stops, three fifty per day, which is fine. That's more than enough to cover our wages and make a bit of profit. So let's let's sell some stuff. Oh wait, 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 wait. We don't want to get rid of that shield. We'll keep the shield just so we can have it. Get rid of all the stuff we don't need. Now we did pick up another horse, so that helps. A Batanian hobby. Get rid of the broad iron that that guy decided not to take for some reason. And we probably want to buy a few more horses. So we only need nineteen total. We've got sixteen now, so we're we're pretty much there. We've got some midland palfrey. Actually, let's get rid of the hobby and then. And we'll keep it all one type of horse. So 1654. So we make some money and we get even more mounts to ride. So footmen on horses is plus 0.91. So pretty good. Oh, prisoners. We have a lot of prisoners. Get rid of these guys. Now our movement speed is much better. And look at that. We got points to spend, but we're not going to spend them. Hopefully we had some upgrades, but we don't. So we're just going to have to fight it. Now let's have the crossbowmen just follow and then we'll set them up later. I think for now we do have a little bit of a, not really a good shield wall, but we have a little bit of a shield wall. Let's, let's set these guys up. Actually, we should probably do a nice little tight formation and then as soon as they come in we should be able to get them stuck let's get the crossbowmen close by at least all right crossbowmen are taking some hits not ideal you know what we should do we should probably micro our guys a little better here let's let's get let's get our our foot troops in the way there we go there we go yeah that's what we needed all right let's micro them we, we've got time let's not be lazy and by let's i mean me Oh, this guy's gonna get through. Yeah, he took out one of our crossbows. It's an injury though, not a death, so that's that's acceptable. All right, I see somebody charging here. Nope, he got through. All right, we're taking him out though. They're they're not really doing a whole lot of damage to us. All right, this guy's coming in. Oh, he's, he's aiming for our shield wall line, so we should be able to take him out. Right, let's back up a little bit. They don't have too many more melee cav. I think it's mostly the the ranged ones, and we should be able to outshoot them. Maybe, maybe not. Boys, maybe. Infantry! No, maybe not. All right, I think this guy... Oh, no, they're charging in. Oh, there goes another. Actually, that's not our... Yeah, that was our shield wall. That's fine. Those guys are expendable. It's so hard to figure out where they're going to be charging from. All right, here we go. We can get in front of that guy. There we go. And catch a second one. Beautiful. What about this guy? All right, let's get a good shield wall so we don't get shot from the back. They've only got a handful left, so I think what we'll do... Let's just give the charge command. We'll speed this up. Oh, man, they... <laughs> That was like 10 people trying to smack him and they all missed. Maybe you should stick to the crossbow. All right, he got knocked off his horse. That's an easy kill. All right, there we go. We won it. And we lost nobody, actually. Only three injuries. Two infantry and one sergeant crossbow. So that worked out really well. We got 2.7 renown, which is pretty good. Got a few prisoners. And more importantly, we got more shield wall. So that's going to help quite a bit. Ooh, we picked up a Midlands Palfrey. I mean, it's going to give us a little hurting penalty if we go too much over. But as soon as we get clan tier two, we're going to need those anyways. And they're super expensive. And since we're here, let's go ahead and dump some of this stuff. Let's 
keep a spear. I mean, like I said, we're not going to be doing much fighting, but at least we'll be able to defend ourselves, I guess, a little bit. Another 700. Here we go. Let's keep following this guy. Hopefully they don't get ambushed too many times. They still have eight. I mean, it's not terrible. Yeah, here we go again. Again, we're going to micro our shield wall, and hopefully we can intercept their melee cav. Kind of tough. Let's get these guys repositioned here. Yeah, they're going to turn. Here we go. Here we go. Get in there, boys. Protect your archers. Protect your... <laughs> I mean, they're at the very least they're they're providing a little bit of a speed bump, so these guys don't completely run into our cab. But yeah, they're really not doing that much. Can't tell where they're gonna charge from. Here we go. There's a guy on foot. Right, let's keep turning them. Keep turning that shield wall. I think they're pretty much out of melee cab. Oh no, they the melee cab's over there doing other stuff. Oh, here comes the melee cab. All right, there we go. We help. We can at least say we did something. All right, this guy's off his horse. Let's take him out before he gets into melee range. There we go. All right, once again, we are providing a value by being a roadblock. Okay, we're getting hit here. What the hell? Let's take our shield wall out there and hopefully we can disrupt their, their circle because this is kind of annoying right now. All right, they're starting to extend their range of their circle. I don't know if that helps. Wow, that one guy by himself just shot us from that distance. All right, we need to give these guys charge command because they're just not doing anything. Oh man, we're already out of ammunition. Yeah, that's what's going on. I was wondering why these guys aren't shooting, but it's because they are they wasted a bunch of ammo, I guess. Let's get our guys grouped up. And actually, what we should probably do is just give the charge command. Here we go. We're going to go head up with this guy. Oh, <laughs> they KS'd us, man. Right before we got the hit off, they shot him in the face. All right here, let's, uh, let's head these guys off too. We don't want them to take out our... Our units. I took out the horse. Okay, one more. Don't don't get smacked in the head, man. There we go. Alright, that's it. We lost. Oh, actually we lost a crossbow man. I don't feel too bad about that because I kinda wanna upgrade these guys instead along the archer line. I feel like they'll do better. Yeah, we'll have more options with that extra shield, but I feel like we get more value out of the archers. Especially at this stage. Running out of arrows there was really bad. All right, back to the escort mission. Hopefully it's only two. Yeah, it's only two. That helps. Dump everything. How much cash are we gonna make on this one? Only 784, but again, we we did get uh what do we make on this one? Like 700? So we're at 12k. That's not bad at all. And we could pick up another recruit. We're going to need it. Yeah, I think what we'll probably do is probably get rid of these guys slowly over time. And then I think what we'll end up doing is upgrading these guys down the archer line. But again, we could do the Bukalari. They do have it's only regular arrows, though. Man, that's rough. I don't think the bow is as good either. Step war bow is 50 skill. These guys only use the recurve bow, which is 30 skill. So that one's not nearly as good. Yeah, the Paltine Garter. I know some people like to dump on them. I think they're actually decent. One of the biggest issues was them having only one quiver now that they have two it's kind of i don't know it's hard to argue against them and they've got the bodkin so that's three pierce it's it's pretty strong what are these guys yeah it's just the regular bar barrel so one pierce and these guys get 18 shots that's ridiculous man okay well you live and you learn right gang needs recruits we could do that one because we have some that we can convert i don't know if it's really worth it though let's uh let's keep moving we need a, a little bit more renown needs tools we can definitely do the tools you may have heard of my chin sir that's what we should name him honestly we should name him charles the chin actually i kind of want to do that it's charles the second charles the chin the second how about that i think that that's more befitting all right we need some tools let's go grab it one two three we'll go drop that off probably not even worth our time but whatever we're here we'll do it we received 18 hardwood yay we'll try not to spend that all in one place all right let's dump it because we don't need it oh, actually they only needed one tool i didn't realize that whoops a very commanding chin indeed this is going to be really interesting though i think early game no big deal late game might be a tough one though i think late game is going to be a tough one but we'll figure it out that's the, the one thing about doing challenges like this is you got to be able to adapt kind of go with the flow i would love to get a few more quests let's go see if dirthurt's around i'm gonna say speaking of habsburg like let's go have a chat with dirthurt <laughs> speaking of inbred let's go talk to dirthurt huh tournament we could try it i mean we have no combat skill but it's, it's still doable all right we're not gonna bet actually we'll bet on the first one because you get really good uh, value for it oh we already got smacked shoot this guy oh, okay you body blocked us, man. Wait, is that an enemy? Yeah, we're red. Shoot this guy point blank. All right, we gotta stop these guys from shooting at us. Yeah, we lo Oh, okay, now we... We might be lost. No, we won. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we got the long pole arm. This is gonna be interesting. All right, we got one kill. We'll take it. This thing's got such a long, like, uh, wind-up time. 
Right, we need we need to get our uh i was gonna say we need to get our buddy involved it's gonna be really hard to, to 1v1 that guy all right here we go it comes down to this our tournament lives are in your hands oh man they can't hit anything you can do it oh we got shot in the face but he keeps going that's that's a champion right there getting shot in the face and still going man this guy's got terrible crossbow skills I think he's missed like seven in a row. Finally hit one. Oh no, he's getting shot. He's shot in the throat right there. Yeah, wow, he's taking a lot of hits, but yeah, I'm too blind men. Okay, well we lost. Not much we could do about it. The the team ones, it's kind of a crapshoot, so that's fine. It is what it is. All right, what about quests? Overpriced materials. We'll skip that. Let's go tour the countryside. Now we should be picking fights with looters when we see them. That's going to be our best way to get renown at this point. So, and also what I want to do is let's give these guys hold fire. Oh, we're going to have them hold fire and just go in. I do want to sacrifice them. They'll probably win, but if I can lose a couple of them each time, I think that's going to be the way to do it. Yeah, they win pretty easily there, but we did lose a few of them, which is good. That's what we want to do. We want to whittle them down. We already paid money for them. We might as well get some use out of them, so we'll, we'll make money on the way of on, on the way to losing them. Okay, back to work. Let's go up to Jacqueline. We need to get rid of some of these prisoners, or we could find maybe like a quarry or something, and hopefully they have that quest. Yeah, we should probably do that. I'm sure one will pop up. As soon as we sell them, it's going to pop up, so might as well just hang on to them. And we do have the Bounty Hunters quest. That one we did early. I did this earlier. It did pretty well. Let me think. Oh, wow. There's already a rebel yeah, we're not even, we're, we're like halfway through the first year and there's already rebellion. And then the Kazates took this castle up here. Oh yeah, and then the Empire took Remtoil. So there's been a few changes on the map. Oh, actually Neviance got taken. That's normally Sturgeon, so Durther took that. I think that's mostly it. Let's take the Bounty Hunter. We're, we'll come back and do it. Right, how much time do we have? 30 days. Yeah, that's more than enough. There's the douche. All right, Mr. Durther, we'll leave you alone for now. Now, there should be, usually it's it's like, like a iron mine or a silver mine or a, what do you call it? The these pits, the clay pit, those are the ones that usually have it. Yeah, see, manual labors. We've got everything we need for it already. And this one, we're going to tell him to mine his own business. I couldn't care any less about this guy's relations. We're probably never going to be recruited from these guys anyway, so it doesn't matter. We'll take our money. 2,700, that's not bad. So we're almost up to 15 yeah, slave pits. Might as well call them slave pits, that's true. Right, we do need to go over here to the hideout. Let's go take care of that. And we're going to use, like I said, we'll, we'll end up using those crossbowmen, and they'll be basically just sacrificial lands. We want them to lose, but but we want them to lose slowly. We want to still win overall. So we'll hopefully do that. All right, we got all but one. Yeah, so almost everybody's a sergeant here. Let's actually put them all into one just so it's a little easier to, to manage. And we'll let them fire at will. And we're just going to we're gonna speed this up because there's really not much to it. Oh, <laughs> that was like a, a execution squad. Wow, they dunked on those guys. All right, get up here. The problem with the crossbows especially early on when you have these battles where you need them to do a lot of kills and you can micro them well. The battles last a long time and they just don't have the ammunition to survive. So look at, we're not even past the second stage. We're already more than halfway out of ammunition. It's really bad. So for something like a siege where you don't have to worry about ammunition, it's fine. But that one melee guy's not going to do too well here. So let's let's manually move these guys. Yeah, see, they're already out of ammo. Oh, nice. They're getting killed. Kind of what we want. But we do need a few of them to survive so we can get to the end though. That's That's one thing we do need. Let's help out here. Okay, I had I was trying to turn off this, the freaking pre-X speed. <laughs> There's a special fix for it. Yeah, I screwed that up. I had the high speed on. Whoops. <laughs> That's the danger of using using mods like that. All right, let's. Uh, we lost a few of them. We need to lose more, but uh, let's see if we can do it with a quest. Help with brigands, we can do that. So 550 is much better than what we, I think the last time I did it. They were only paying 300. All right. Oh, we have to auto resolve this one because we don't have units. But that's fine. We need to keep progress moving forward. And actually, we should keep upgrading our armor as we get it. I don't think we'll buy armor because it's not really worth it. But as we get stuff like this, I mean, these are pretty good pieces. So we'll, we'll take little upgrades here and there. Well, there we go. All right, let's get these bandits. They changed this quest. It's bugged so that they run from you. Before, they would stand still and you can get them pretty easily, but now you kind of have to chase them down. And if you don't have a bunch of uh, mounts, it's going to be tough. And we have mounts, but the problem is we also have a lot of pack animals. So actually, we should probably... Let's offload some stuff. And we don't really need any of this. And then we should probably get rid of some of the Sumter horses so that we're not too badly in the herd penalty. We don't need a ton of space right now. So let's just go down to maybe like five or six. We've got plenty of food. We've got tools in case we get that mission. 
the brigand quest, man. I don't know why they changed that. It's kind of annoying. It used to be my favorite one because then when you have big parties, you can still catch these really fast small parties. Not anymore. It's just auto resolve. We lose people. It's fine. We can take some empire peasants, which is good. We are using the empire troops right now. And that puts us, uh, we're so close. We got four, four renown to go. Actually, we could, we could just auto resolve these guys as we're traveling back. Let's go back to the empire area because we're going to want to probably Virgin peasant. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll sacrifice them. We'll, we'll probably want to be a vassal or one of the empire people. So I think we'll stay towards them. Wait, something happened to Tile? I don't know. Well, a bunch of people got lost. What happened there? Simnon the surgeon was lost. They, they will, one of the clans died out. Oh, that was probably the rebels. I think that was the rebels, right? Let's see if there's a rebel clan that just went extinct. Uh, eliminated. No, there's no eliminated clans. There's Houston folk rebels. That guy's not dead yet. These guys are all dead though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it does that sometimes. It's kind of weird. All right, let's keep moving. We got to keep this moving along because I would like to get this campaign started and finished within one month, hopefully. Maybe less. Just, I guess it just depends on how often I do it, but we'll see. All right, what do you have? Gang needs recruits. We're going to pass. Let's go up here. The Chin does not feed gang recruits. Help with brigands. Nice. Yeah, we can do it. I mean, they're going to pay us a couple hundred. 550, that's fine. Let's hope we can even find these guys. I think what we'll do, we're going to get to Clench here one as soon as we can. We'll become a mercenary, and then we're just going to raid the crap out of people. So we failed the crafting material quest because it won't let us turn them in. I, I don't know if it's bugged. I don't know if anybody else has had that experience, but it, it would not let me turn it in. And and this one, let's just auto resolve. So these small ones, completely irrelevant. Is that an upgrade? No, definitely not. All right, one more. Let's see if we can find like a looter group or something. Hey, oh no, I was going to say, I thought we lost somebody. All right, so we're good there. Let's, uh, we, we're starting to collect some prisoners again. We've got 10. That's probably enough to, to fulfill another quest. So there is an iron mine up here. Let's go see if they've got the quest. If not, there's some other ones over this way we can go to. Here we go. Yeah, they probably have it. Bandit base, that's even better. Or is it? Like we just, <laughs> we just died from a bandit base quest. You know we can do let's upgrade these guys to tier three and then we'll use a couple of them we'll, we'll take the bandit nice. base quest all right let's go handle that one all right this time we're not gonna die hopefully i know i can't promise that but we'll try all right let's uh let's combine the groups if you're not sure what that is it's, you select the one you want to move and then you hit f3 f5 you choose which group you want them to go to we're just gonna have them follow because it's really annoying to have to move these guys. We are going to use the speed up function once we're not in combat. Because this stuff takes forever. Yeah, they're all the way down there. So there's six left. Not too bad. I think the end fight shouldn't be too bad. Because they don't have a ton of people here. It'll probably be like five or six. Which I believe we can handle. Oh, we're spread out the wrong way. Let's spread out the right way here. Alright, we're going to help a little bit. Not too much. Alright, here we go. We basically just want to block and distract these guys. Uh, we don't want to lose our shield, though. Actually, let's pick up a second shield. We'll probably lose this one. All right, here we go. I think this is the last guy. Yeah, take him out. Don't lose, many, don't lose anybody, please. And then we can deal with these last guys. Oh, he looked like he, got, he took one to the nuts. We're not going to do the duel. We want to fight these guys. Hopefully, we don't lose everything. Okay. We got a block now. We got two shields. Let's get in there. We just want to aggressively stuff their attacks. So just like that. We we did lose somebody, but it's it's the crossbowmen. We want to lose all the crossbowmen, and then we can replace them with the archers. Uh, we do have the option to take some of these guys in. I don't know if this is worth it. I think we'll pass. Or you know what? We could take them, and we can donate them if we really don't want them. And let's just double check. We've got an upgrade on the shield, and there's probably not going to be too much here as far as upgrades, but might as well check. So 3k, that's huge. We're already at 20k, and we do have clan tier 1 attained, so we can become a mercenary. Now the question is who's at war with who? The Northern Empire is not at war. Southern Empire is at war, but they are getting their butt kicked. What about the West? West is not at war. So we would have to do Southern Empire. It doesn't matter because it's just vassal. It's not that big of a deal. So Southern Empire, let's head down that way. Charles the Chin gained a level. Not that we can use it. Uh, let's let's actually get rid of our prisoners. We don't want to we don't want to slow down. And actually we should probably we should probably get rid of some of this stuff. Ooh, slide upgrade there. Like I said, a lot of this really doesn't make a difference because we're not going to be fighting much, but we'll have it just in case. And we already upgraded all this stuff, so let's dump, dump, and dump. Uh, we'll keep the food, get rid of everything else. 2600, we're over 20k now. Nice. Simp campaign. We're going for Regea. We're going for that simp. All right, let's see if we can find a noble over here. Now, nice thing for mercenary, you don't have to find Regea herself. You can just talk to any noble, and they'll let you in. Any day now. But you know what? We do actually need to start recruiting more troops. We should probably do that right away. And let's not take the Vizsla. I don't want to spend the money on upgrading the horses. I'd rather already hire them when they're 
upgraded. Man, they have a lot of Vigilo. The They're so bad. The Vigilo are so bad. If you do a test of all tier two units, the Vigilo come out on the bottom every time. They're so bad. Okay, let's keep upgrading. And we also need to, yeah, we should probably buy horses as we do this. I really don't want to be super slow. Uh, we also don't want to spend 400 per horse. So let's, let's go back to Lycron and let's see if we can run into a noble at some point. We'll probably need to go to the front line. I'm assuming they're all pulled up there, but either way, it doesn't matter. We're recruiting, we're doing stuff. We're making good use of our time. Now horses, they do have the Midland Palfrey. So we'll take that. That takes a good chunk of our money, but I think it's, it's okay. It's still worth it. And like I said, we're, we're good on food. Let's hold off on that. Uh, I don't think there's even anybody in the keep right i don't think there's there's no flag there so probably not we'd be paying money for nothing let's go to the front lines at least their front lines and then we'll start up actually that's a good point is it pronounced vigla or vigla oh i don't have any because they're trash that's right but if yeah so i'm not sure i'm not really sure how to pronounce that but you know what we should do the caravan guard i think we'll keep the caravan guard the former so vigla okay let's get rid of the sturgeon peasant and yeah you know what we don't need to deal with peasants right now let's just upgrade we've got three ones we can hire the arm trader those are going to be trash long term the Vlandia caravan guard that's fine we can sacrifice him pretty easily but let's just let's recruit up a proper army we don't want to have a bunch of mixed stuff All right. no nobles in here man they are just like hiding from us they're like oh no <laughs> oh, no the Habsburg chin's coming for us don't hide so we can't we don't have to hire him <laughs> Oh man, you cannot hide from the chin. The chin will find you. Where are you at? Are they all in like jail or something? All right, so there's a siege going on here. They're probably a bunch here. Now, I don't think we can talk to the mercenary to join. We have to talk to one of the armies. This looks like it's falling. Oh, nice. Okay, we can we can talk to somebody here. Oh wow, they let us in. <laughs> they just let anybody in, I guess. All right, let's go talk to somebody. I am Charles the Chin. 160 dinars, not great, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. And at this point we are begging. Let's head south. What we'll probably end up doing, there, there's a couple ways we could do this. We could just go around collecting bandits and stacking up the influence that way, or we could go raid villages. I don't know if that's such a good idea against the Kazate though, now that I think about it, because they are going to have a lot, they're going to have a lot of cav in their, in their party so they're going to catch us pretty easily, but we'll see. I don't know. Oh, okay, we're at war with two people now. There we go. I don't mind doing this. I was going to say, I don't want to raid the, the Kazates because they're just going to spank us, but we can we can definitely we can definitely fight the uh, the other empire. All right, we're just going to auto-resolve our way to success here because why not? Let's go down to Volstrom. I would like to pick up a few more horses because like I said, we're, we're going to want to have the fastest movement speed that we can. That's going to be pretty important here. Okay, let's dump all this. We don't need it and they don't have cheap horses, so we're going to pass. Yeah, I don't care what you're passing. Uh, we have to figure out at some point which which kingdom we're going to join. There's a couple ways we can do it. We could stay solo and just do it ourselves. It, it might be a difficult thing to do with Mr. Chin here. Chin is not conducive to a solo world conquest, so we, we might have to figure something else out. Crossbowmen are going to go in first by themselves. We want them to sacrifice. We're also going to send in the Cav because he's trash. We don't want him as, as well. All right, so they're, they're dealt with. Now we send in the troops we actually want to keep, so we'll deal with that. All right, no tactics involved here. We just need to get this thing done with. These are uh, trash units. Actually, we can we can help block. Oh, you got laid out, son. You got laid out. And uh, we probably don't want these guys escaping, so. Oh, they got 21 damage. <laughs> Imagine if you stab somebody that ha has no armor, and you're so weak that it does, you have to hit him like six times to do any like lethal damage with a gigantic spear. All right, there we go. So we did lose the crossbowmen. We only have two left, which is perfect. That's what we want. Uh, why are you not allowed to organize a specific line of units? So we're, we're allowed to, but we're, I wanted to get rid of these, these crossbowmen, but I didn't want to just delete them because we spent a bunch of money. Might as well. But now before we do anything too crazy, we do have to get a decent uh, line. Oh, they, they're, they're sieging down Poros. Oh, here we go. These guys are already upgraded for us. So that helps. Actually, we can we can take another archer and then we'll just fire. Let's just get rid of a recruit. All right, let's make sure we stay in order. And that worked. We could donate them, but it's it's probably not worth it. Now, help with brigands. Yeah, again, it's just kind of a pain. So why don't I want the crossbowmen? One issue I was having with the crossbowmen, uh, I was trying to fight these tier two and tier three cav, the caravan raiding thing. And I, I actually almost lost the, the battle because of how bad they were. And we had fairly equal numbers. They aren't very accurate against moving uh, moving cav and they only have 18 shots so if you look at their if you look at their loadout they only have 18 heavy bolts 
So especially since they're not all that accurate, it's just they're not that good. And also the crossbow they use is really bad. 40, 40 skill for the crossbow. I believe the bound crossbow requires 70. So it's like twice as good. I don't really care for these guys. And these are even worse. Imperial crossbowmen, 20 crossbow skill. These guys might as well be the sword sisters, right? It's pretty bad. And they fixed the Imperial Platinate guards. They now have two sets of Bodkin arrows. I think before they only had one, if I recall. I could be wrong on that, but I think for a while they only had one set. So, and the step warbow is pretty good. The Bukalari, terrible they got a 30 skill bow and they have regular barbed arrows it's just trash we're just gonna go the palatine guard i should have done it i tried to get fancy and use some guys that we could use a shield with so we can get do some fancy stuff but it didn't pay off wait did we take we did not take yeah we should probably take that because we're gonna be here fighting them anyways all right 616 we're making a little bit more money for those now we do have to be careful we're kind of close to enemy territory holy crap that is a big army we're not even a full year in wow kind of cool to see i like it but uh wow yeah if we use crossbowmen this time i think it'll probably end up being the Vlandians, to be honest. Or I wouldn't even mind the mercenaries, although we can't get the mercenary wage perks, so that may not make sense. We gotta stay around here because that's stupid quest. If they get too far away, then the quest goes away, so we have to be able to catch them in this area. Uh, probably not worth it, actually. I think we're just gonna move on. We'll let that quest cancel out. I don't really care. We need to keep making money because we're at the point where party wages are actually quite high. I don't care what you do with Hus and Fulp. You're probably gonna lose it again anyways. Interesting. So I guess you lose if you go too far. Oh, we're at war with them. Oh, Oh, got it. Yeah, because we had we had the quest and then they lost Poros. Interesting. I didn't know that that was a thing. So if you if you have an active quest and then your your kingdom that you're a part of goes to war with them, that automatically goes to a fail. That sucks, man. Like if you spend all that time collecting prisoners, then you got to try and do it. <laughs> and then they go to war. Uh, and you know how the AI loves to go to war. Oh, we don't want to get caught by those guys. OK, Southern Empire is not doing too well here. I have a feeling they're going to they're going to get kind of surrounded and sandwiched. Now, the nice thing about being a mercenary is, like I said, we have more options. Like right now, there's not really any bandits to fight. This is crap. We're wasting our time. We're, we're running in circles. Kind of annoying. Well, here's the looter group. We can at least catch these guys, I hope. Now, Sesta Dame Castle might be able to hold 200 versus 500. Maybe. Probably not, actually. Let's let the crossbowmen go up there and do the thing. All right, they're all dead. That's good. Oh, they all survived, though. We don't want injuries. We want them to die. Oh, well. And again, we just want to we want to get through this pretty quickly. We'll probably auto-resolve most of these, but oh, you got them. Nice. So we lost. Yeah, we didn't lose any of the, the, the crossbowmen. Oh, we do have archers in there too actually we should probably be careful with that maybe we'll just fire him yeah we don't need to be messing around with that too much let's recruit up a few more uh what do we need oh you know what we could do actually this one's recently conquered so 47 there how many you got here 20 plus village uh, 30 plus 20 villagers we can do that so let's recruit we'll go up over the max let's go ahead and upgrade these so we want to have i think we want to have a shield wall of at least 10 to 15 so let's go do that so we've got 10 there 15 and then the rest are going to be archers Ooh, the manavliates on they're so good but we're going to go shield because we're using our front line mostly as a holding force and not necessarily to get kills so we'll do that this should be fine and we're going to take hostile action we're going to tell them to give us recruits they're going to ask for a fight we're going to give it to them charles the chin you're going to be commander even though it means absolutely nothing actually you could be commander of the cav because we have no perks you know what we could do though we could have a banner at some point so that'll help interesting okay i have an idea everybody follow and again i absolutely love the rts mod function where you can speed up battles because of exactly this reason right they're 200 meters away it's such a waste of time waiting for them to to run to you so in this case we can speed it up right, let's get our infantry right at the base basically in the water 